In the late 1800s, as the labor movement took hold in the United States, many states passed legislation to protect workers. One such law, passed in New York in 1897 and known as the Bake Shop Act, capped the number of hours bakers were permitted to work on a daily and weekly basis. The state of New York, the plaintiff, indicted bakery owner Joseph Lochner, the defendant, twice under the Bake Shop Act for permitting an employee to exceed the maximum allowable 60-hour work week. Lochner was convicted and fined by the county court. Lochner's conviction was affirmed by the appellate division of the New York Supreme Court and New York's highest court, the Court of Appeals. Lochner appealed to the United States Supreme Court. Lochner argued that the Bake Shop Act was unconstitutional. First, Lochner argued that the Bake Shop Act was not a legitimate use of the state's police power, meaning the power to regulate for the protection of health, safety, and welfare, because bakeries were not the kind of businesses that required that sort of oversight. Additionally, Lochner argued that the act interfered with the freedom to contract for a person's labor protected by the Due Process Clause of the 14th Amendment. Justice Peckham, writing for the majority, agreed with Lochner and struck down the Bake Shop Act as unconstitutional. The court held that the New York statute unlawfully interfered with the right to contract to buy or sell labor, which was a protected liberty interest under the 14th Amendment Due Process Clause. Additionally, the court drew a distinction between the Bake Shop Act and other labor laws that had previously been upheld, such as those regulating working conditions for mining operations. The court did not believe that the act was needed in the baking industry to safeguard public health because the baking industry was not inherently unhealthy, and therefore the statute was an unreasonable, unnecessary, and arbitrary interference with the right of the individual to his personal liberty. Justice Holmes wrote a now famous dissent to say that the majority's holding went too far in imposing a particular economic theory on the Constitution. Holmes argued that the accident of our finding certain opinions natural and familiar, or novel and even shocking, ought not to conclude our judgment upon the question whether statutes embodying them conflict with the Constitution. Ultimately, Holmes said that so long as a fundamental right was not violated, the people's will should not be struck down. Justice Harlan argued that deference should have been given to the New York legislature's decision to limit Baker's hours and pointed out potential factual foundations for the statute, such as the poor air quality and intense heat inside bakeries, which causes numerous health problems for bakers. Thus, Harlan felt the New York law should have been upheld. The Lochner-era Supreme Court struck down a number of economic regulations based on the doctrine of substantive due process. The Lochner Court took the view that the doctrine limited the ability of states to exercise their police powers in a way that interfered with individual liberties, such as the right to contract. For example, the court overturned minimum wage laws and laws prohibiting yellow dog contracts, which were contracts in which employees agreed never to join a union. The Lochner decision was explicitly overturned in 1937 by West Coast Hotel v. Parrish. And since then, states' economic regulations have been assessed by courts under the much more deferential rational basis review. If you found this video helpful, you can explore all of our content by visiting us at Quimby.com. If you have a question or comment about this case, please post it in the comments area below and we'll do our best to get back to you. If you think we did a good job with this video, please like, share, and favorite it. And if you think this video might be helpful to people you know, please share on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus as well, to get this video out there. If you haven't done so already and you enjoy watching videos on this channel, click on the red subscribe button just below this video so you can get all the latest updates.